All right, guys, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what's happened recently in regards to the Afghanistan situation and, of course, Biden's even more epic bumbling of the situation. This has just turned out to be an absolute farce, an absolute failure on a level that we have not seen for a very, very, very long time. Not even Bush was this bad with his 9-11 and his Katrina moments. But before I get into that, uh, there will be a pin comment down below link it to my bit shoot channel i would encourage you to go follow me on there because it's obvious that youtube is being as it's basically authoritarian at this point and i can't have freedom to create the content that i want to create and actually say the things that i actually want to say so again down below link to my bit shoot go follow me there but this afghanistan deal is turning out to be biden's absolute worst nightmare and and it's the worst nightmare of the globalists and the libtards we can see biden clearly bumbling this and it's just gotten so much worse so recently i think it was last night there were about three explosions coming from the cabal airport god knows how many people are injured and god knows how many people are actually uh, the, the, the casualties because obviously the mainstream media is probably not going to talk about this they're probably going to lessen the numbers and they're probably not going to give you the full scoop because of course all of the mainstream news media talk show hosts, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, they're all riding with Biden, okay? So they are openly going to cover his ass in any situation that he gets himself into. But I think it's getting to a point where they have even harder times doing that because they are even disgusted at what's going on. So again, there were three attacks yesterday in Cabal. Dozens, maybe even countless hundreds are who have been fatally hurt, dead, and God knows the liking. And you, it's even bad. It's even worse because the CIA comes out and actually says, uh, "Prepare for more, folks." So they, it's 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 gonna get worse from here on out. It's gonna get ugly. We might actually see situations. We might actually see Americans being enslaved. We might actually see the worst yet to come and what is biden gonna do well he's gonna come out just like he did the other day last night sometime he came out last night uh talks about his stupid infrastructure bill he talks about climate change and he talks about other nonsense that has nothing to do with, with the, the, the 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 situation in afghanistan it literally takes him five entire minutes into his little speech to get into it and kamala harris is even worse she comes out ta again talks about climate change talks about how she's so proud because now she sent like over a million vaccines to vet to, to vietnam with the uh, accompanying freezers and whatnot it's like the these people have no idea how horrible they look and it's, it's like th th there's really nothing you can say about this because it's, it's just so bad and it's just gonna get so much worse and, and I, like what do you want me to say i, I told you libtards um but I, I think we're past that point i I think we're at a point where it's so bad that it's not even worth saying anymore because you don't need to say it, you know? And now, now imagine this. Imagine if Trump was president and th th this kind of thing would have happened. What do you think would happen to Trump? Well, what do you think the media response would be? Uh, they, they would wrap people up in a frenzy. Uh, there would be protests on the White House lawn, uh, encouraging Trump to resign or get impeached. Are they gonna impeach Biden for this? No, of course not. No, they're not even going to discuss it. I'm honestly at a loss for words because it's it's so it's so fucked up. This is Joe Biden's 9/11 moment. This is going to get worse, and it's it's going it, to it 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 is it's going to get worse. It's always darkest before dawn, and and we all know this. We all know just how bad it, it's probably going to get. We can think of scenarios, right? And what's going to make it worse is that we have a commander in chief, Biden, Hong Kong, that is incompetent, weak, demented, and obviously he's a puppet. He he's not pulling the 
strings. He, 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 he's not. There are people behind Biden telling him what to say, telling him what to do, writing the scripts for him, obviously. And then after he's made his short appearance, his wife takes him away and gives him some ice cream. And, and then he plays uh, with, with Legos or something. And it seems like we have around 2,000 American citizens trapped in Afghanistan right now. And, and what is Biden's main priority? Get, getting the refugees, get, getting the Afghan refugees and, you know, resettling them in your neighborhoods. That, that, that's his priority. He doesn't give a crap about these Americans stuck there. He doesn't give a crap if these Americans die, get enslaved, get beaten, tortured. What? He doesn't give a crap. And neither does the media because they're all riding with Biden. They're all for the, the, this, this globalistic hack job. How do you think this is going to make the Democrats look? The, 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 the Democrats are going to get slaughtered in the midterms. It, it, it's, it, it's over. It, the Democrats have overstretched and overstretched, and now we see the replications of their actions, of the globalist elite. We see where this ends up. Biden comes out yesterday, does his little speech, and turns his back on America. And then this is like so symbolic too, because there's like so many memes around it. Biden literally turning his his back on on America d during this time. You know, my heart goes out to these people who have family over there and their their service members and their family over there. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine you know hearing about all this going down and knowing that your loved loved ones are are trapped there. And and the, the current president that doesn't give a shit about them. He he care he more he cares more about resettling refugees than getting getting his own citizens to safety. It really goes to show you the priorities of this administration and. And of course, the global the the globalist elites that basically are farming Joe Biden that they 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 control him. He's a puppet. We all know this. We are sensitive. Assert your feelings. You know it to be true. You know I hope all of you know all the Americans who ha have been hurt in this time, who have been injured, that you know they they make a full recovery. I you know that might not be likely. Uh, the, the ones who are still stranded there, I hope to God they get the fuck out. But we we just don't know what's what what's going to happen and, and we know it's going to get worse even the, the the cia comes out and warns us about this shit i mean it's just i don't know what to say and it. it's it's just, should we impeach uh, biden uh, prob they, they that's probably not gonna it, that's, that, that's what we should do we, we should impeach Biden. We, we should throw the fucker out. But are we going to do that? No. Are the, are the neocons in there going to do that? No. Are the Democrats going to do that? No. Because, of course, they, they don't want Kamala Harris taking over. Biden, or, or the globalist elite, probably picked her just for this reason. So when inevitably, inevitably Biden makes this colossal fail, and a reminder, he's not even a year in his presidency. we got three more years to go. And it's, an, it's already an absolute shit show. But the globalist elite that are, you know, puppeting Biden, that they are using Kamala Harris as a shield, as, as an alternative. Hey, you want to impeach Biden? Well, you're going to get this one instead. So we're probably going to be stuck with Biden, at least to the midterms, maybe, because obviously his support is just going to be bleeding at this point. Uh, even even in push polls that oversample Democrats, he is bleeding support because of this. And of course, the, 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 the mainstream media that, that they can't help but talk about this because it's sensationalism and it gets them money you know all the all these dead bodies it, it's really good for clickbait and all that money what an absolute bunch of freaks but um i don't know i mean i, I hope everybody you know comes out of this okay but i, I just don't see that likely and I, I it's not gonna get any better from here guys um you guys let me know what you thought again down below follow me on bit shoot uh and that's about it for this one see you later